What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. That's right. Shot a big old buck. You just wait. Okay, just wait. Be patient. It'll be worth the wait. But I have a huge announcement. We called an audible, and we're starting Cyber Monday sales early, starting right now on Sunday. As you're watching this video, click the link down in the description down below. Go to bucksinning.com, and the entire website is 40% off. 40. I, I couldn't believe that they approved it, but listen, 40% off the entire website, anything you need. I've got a few things laid out. I mean, that's by far my absolute all-time favorite hoodie. We got some t-shirts. We got some hats. This is my favorite little base layer that I wear. It's got the little ninja mask on it. Fans just got the old coat on it. So there's a bunch of other stuff that'll be linked down in the description down below. If you go to buckshunting.com, I mean, we've got bags. We've got releases. We've got pretty much anything you need. You, if you're new to deer hunting, okay, or you've been deer hunting for years, something on the website you could use to go harvest a big old buck like we did in today's video. So, bucktending.com starting right now through Cyber Monday. Everything is 40% off. I want to start it early for you guys to celebrate shooting a big old buck. We finally got a big one down. I'm excited for you guys to watch the video and we turned it into something good to eat as well. So make sure you stay tuned for the catch, the clean, and the cook. You guys enjoy. We're at the ranch, ladies and gentlemen. That is right. It is time to go shoot a big old buck. The buck we're after. Twinkle Toes. Happy Feet is MIA. We have not seen him yet. This is the one we've been after since day one. On opener, we came out. Jake had a hit list of two bucks. I had a hit list of this guy. Jake's came out. Wham, bam. Got him down. Now, I'm up to bat. So, I'm going after big boy Twinkle Toes. But, since Jake had two target bucks and he only got one of them. He's only got one tag. I'm also going to go after the bully buck. So, the bully buck is this guy right here. He's... 69 years old at least okay big old boy trashy rack it ain't gonna get any better kind of guy similar to the one that jake shot on opener you got it's just as important to harvest those guys as it is these big nice looking deer okay because you don't one want them breeding your does and two they end up kicking out the nicer ones because they're bigger they're heavier they're older they're meaner Okay, and then you might, that maybe that's ha what happened with Twinkle Toes. Twinkle Toes might have gotten ran off by one of these big sons of guns. So, I'm going after Big Boy or Twinkle Toes, or any other, m you know, mature buck that comes by, to be honest with you. I mean, like, it's the rut. Anything could happen. But, starting the day off, what do you think about these guys? Are we, are we going to give these guys a go? What is it? The, I saw them at the grocery store the other day. They're, um, it's almost like a half quesadilla yeah, with egg, like bacon, and cheese. I'm not sure if it's going to be. Is there bacon they, they said there's bacon. Yeah. Does it taste like something you would want to eat again, or or? It needs some sauce. It need oh, it needs sauce. I don't think we well, we have sauce, but I can guarantee you, it's not from this year. No. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it feels a little thick. It's it's a little dry. I mean, that's not too bad. But we're packed up, ready to go. I've got some surprises in here. Okay, you guys will see. For, this is like this is like pre-breakfast. We've got more breakfast shenanigans, but we got the old six-five ready to rock and roll. Slap the boots on. We're gonna grab the old silent killer, the old golf cart wagon, the meat wagon, and we're gonna head out. And we're not gonna sit on the plot that Jake shot his at. We're gonna sit on the other one, hoping that because we've sat at that one, we sat there morning and evening. Jake shot his in the evening. We didn't see our big buck. Maybe he switched sides on us, and he's just not running in front of our cameras. There is. A chance that he's just not he's over there but he's not running into our camera so we're gonna head out get packed up loaded up head out there and um it's like 5 45 and shooting light is like 6 30 6 38 so we'll try to get there with about 30 40 minutes of shooting light or before shooting light hopefully be nice and quiet and hopefully get us a big old buck you guys stay tuned He was a younger, I mean, he's a nice 
nice looking deer, but definitely one you want to let him let him live and grow and hopefully become something cool. But he came through in and out really, really fast. We couldn't even get the camera on him. But the fact that we've got this doe right in front of us, I hope she stays here. Because if she's sitting out here, then if our target buck comes out, he should at least stop and look at her or go check her out at the least. Alright boys, we've got the rarest deer on the property. Got the unicorn coming in hot, but he's checking us out. A lot of deer today are coming downwind. I don't know if he'll be able to figure, figure us out or not. We had another doe that was probably 150 yards away. Kind of came from that same area, and she kind of looked at us and then went on. So it's about a 50-50 if the deer that come by notice us or not. Nothing's blown, though. Nothing's busted. Nothing's went crazy. Unicorn boy over here, he's, he ain't quite sure about us yet. We got another buck, fellas. Little crab claw. We thought we just heard a doe blow, but we can't figure out where she's at or why. We've got two bucks and two does that we can see right now. None of them are blowing, but I swear we just heard something blow. Crab claw's looking out there where we I thought I heard it come from, so maybe she's in the corner and I just can't see her. That sun's right there, so if she's standing there and we're moving around, I can't see her, so. I swear I heard it twice. I think this will help or no? Oh. Well, Spike City. That little crab claw guy bedded down right there. He's just taking a nap. Figured it's strawberry Danish o'clock, you know. Most of the deer, almost all of them are coming from there, which again, the wind is blowing from there towards us. They're all coming from there. The does have been a little suspicious. The spikes, they don't care. We've had a unicorn come in, he don't care. I think the only chance of us seeing one of the three target bucks is that they're chasing a doe of some sort and they're moving fast enough to where they don't catch our scent and pay attention because the does that are just like lingering they're doing that and they i think they can smell us so it's one of those things but the other thing we got helping in our favor i, I took the duck blind vibes brought the deer blind figured it'd be good luck that way You like that? Could you hear? Could you hear that? Oh yeah, that was. Is good. that a good slurp? I think we need to do more of those ASMR videos. Those do good on TikTok. You're a big TikTok guy, <laughs> dude. That one. What'd she say? Ride him like a cowboy. Ice cream so good. That <laughs> one. Yes. I hit him. I hit him back. I think he's down. I hit him back. He was quartered away. Then he was up. I see him. You see him still? Yeah, but he's running back there. I hit him back. It wasn't great. Not a great shot, but he was chasing I that. I dog. couldn't get him to freaking stop. Gosh dang it, dude. That sucked. I couldn't get. I couldn't find him, and then I'd yeah. find him, and he'd move, and I couldn't get him to stop. He he's, was quartering away when you shot him, so back should be okay. He's it's it's back, but it should have ex it exited, exited forward. Yeah. It exited where you you want it. Yeah, he was like this, so yeah. shooting him back is not that big. He deal. was gushing, absolutely gushing blood. That's good that you saw that gushing. I mean, I've never seen so much blood come out of a deer in my life. I did not expect that to happen. 
that happen fast. 840. I literally looked over Jake's shoulder and I was like, oh, there's a buck right there. And I was like, I think that's him. Can't quite tell. He turned. He's got these flyers out the back. He was chasing a doe, hauling ass. This thing was... Huh? This went window. He was, uh, he was going really quick. Well, this thing was zoomed into 16. And so I'm like, look, and I can't get on, can't get on him. Then he starts running and I unzoom, I find him, stop him, zoom in, he starts running, I stop, like, I could not get him to stop and then get on him. And I finally did, and what he did was, he was, I mean, his broadside the whole time, perfect. And of course he turned like this, and I was like, it's over, like, I won't get another shot at him. And so I basically aimed on his right leg for the exit and shot. So like, you know, if this is his body, his legs are here, you're supposed to shoot him right here. He was turned, so I shot him like this, hoping it, it blows through his lungs on the exit. So the shot entrance is not ideal. It's way back, but the exit should have been exactly where we wanted. And I'm watching him in its, like, the, the trail. Condition. Like, it'd take, like, it's big, like a gallon of jug and just, like, just, I've never seen it like that before. So it was not perfect as far as placement and timing, but if he would have, basically headed up that way, there's no way I could shoot him. It was what they called the Texas heart shot. That would have been my only other option, maybe. <laughs> shoot him right in the butt. So I, I took what I could get, not my best work, but I would be really surprised if he's not just laying there right now, given the amount of blood that was just dumping. I can confirm that barrel was not out though. Yeah, I can tell. My, ears my left ear's gone. Oh, I, can, I can't hear anything, but we had to scramble as quick as we could, get that open, move the gun, get in position. I mean, he ran perfect. It was perfect. If I just if I didn't have this thing at 16 right away, yeah. and I could have got in, it was just I was playing with the scope too much, but we got him. He's not happy feet, twinkle toes, but he is the bully buck, and he is by far the biggest body and the oldest deer on the property. We've seen him since the day I bought the ranch. We've seen him. And, uh, yappy. 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 Not this blind. Yappy shot an arrow at him last year and hit him in no man's land. Didn't, didn't kill him. He's one of those deers you don't, you don't want him reproducing because his antlers aren't worth it, worth the crap. And you also don't want him beating up and kicking out, you know, like happy feet. Maybe, maybe he kicked out Twinkle Toes. Maybe Twinkle Toes will come back. There's a chance. I mean, the fact that there's, there's a chance. one that's very similar to this guy we've been calling his cousin. Mm -hmm. that's there's running there's another big one. Kind so. of in Twinkle Toes' area. Mm -hmm. Now that he's gone, maybe it'll open up some space, bring it back. Hopefully Twinkle Toes makes an appearance. But we'll give that guy some time just because I didn't, I know it was a good shot, but just not, it wasn't optimal. So we're going to give him, give him some sufficient time because I don't want to bump them or anything stupid. But hopefully we got the bully buck down. You guys stay tuned. All right, fellas. Getting out of the blind is about an hour. We reviewed the footage. Obviously, it was way back, but I had to slide the shot right. Once he turned, I aimed for the exit, which was his back right or his front right leg, and he was pumping blood. We could see that. In the gave him about an hour. If that six five hit where it was supposed to, he should be down. So let's go see if we can find some blood. Alrighty, fellas. So we just got out of that blind right over there. This is about where he was. I just want to start. I just want to start where I shot him, or at least first side of side of blood. He was dumping, but as you saw, it wasn't great the way he literally last second pivoted, and I just I tucked it right where I thought it would exit. I shot for the X on that one, right here, right here. Oh yeah, right there. That's it. Oh yeah. Get out here. On the ground. It's another shot. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's a leaf right there. Painted him red. Oh, look God, at that bush. It's covered all the way up here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, there's more. He's all there. right. Oh, he's right here. He's right there. Yes, dude. Yes. 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 Dude. He didn't go freaking 50 yards. Oh, my God. Do you see Holy that? smokes. How much blood there yeah. is back there? Say, look right here. Look at that pile. This whole bush is red. Dude. He's oh giant, God. bro. Oh my God. He's huge. He's huge. Look at the freaking tank, bro. Oh my God. That's a tank. Oh my That's God. That's a tank. That's a tank, bro. <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh, He's way bigger than I thought. So I'll also black and white this for YouTube, but this is the entrance. I got lucky and snuck it 
on that back rib and it shot through straight out through, his, through his cavity holy smoke that is a massive massive deer Dude. <laughs> oh my god look at that deer bro oh my god look at his little freaking little flyers he's got look at go those up. dude oh my gosh dude, his head dude is that's a hoss huge that's a hoss look at that ladies and gentlemen that is a massive deer look at it he's just he's just rubbing rubbing this is by far the oldest deer i've ever shot he's the oldest deer on the ranch he's the heaviest deer the mass the flyers look at that Sit dude your gun across there holy <laughs> smokes dude's a beast you see the neck he's got going on dude's a beast holy. this is crazy we didn't expect to see him we were hoping we'd see him he came in perfect i made the best shot that i could we ended up working out i got lucky on that one it's a fully mature deer and his rack is not going to get any better than this so these are good ones to take out but the mass bro yeah. <laughs> he's just a freaking tank just an absolute unit. Woo! that feels good we got two two tanks yours and mine just absolute hosses dude big hosses. they're like freaking steers i mean you talk about the meat that's gonna come off this guy you yeah. see that face Thing looks like a cow. That's just a just a mean old guy. We've like we said we've watched him for three years. He beats up others here. He, he was fighting the freak last year. So Yappy shot him finally, straight through about right I was here gonna say, last year. Last year Yappy shot him with a bow, and he came back. But no match for the old six five. Oh God! Look yeah. at that guy. Sheesh! All right, well go get the old meat wagon, get him loaded up. You guys stay tuned. Alrighty, fellas, we got him loaded up. Big boy. Tell you what, one of the girthiest I've ever seen. Next to the freak, this is my biggest deer. So we're gonna go ahead and get him gu gutted. We're not gonna do any caping or nothing. I don't trust myself, okay? We're taking it straight to the taxidermist because he is going on the wall, but we are also gonna get him processed and get some meat off of him. I don't know if we'll do a roast, back strap. We'll get them all chunked up and get them in the kitchen. So on YouTube, we'll see you in the kitchen. On Uncut, let's get to gutting. All right, it's the next day, folks. We're at Walmart. Look at it snowing. It's like a winter wonderland out here. We are going to go in and get ingredients on a day like today, okay? Snowing, it's cold out. Nothing sounds better to eat than some venison chili. We haven't made venison chili this year. I don't, did we even make it last year? No, I, we haven't made chili for a while. It's been a minute. Chili is like, it's one of the, and, and cinnamon rolls. That's oh. A, yeah. See, some of you guys, I think that's a Nebraska thing. Chili and cinnamon rolls. So we're going to go get some cinnamon rolls and get all the ingredients to make some homemade venison chili. I'm excited. It's cold outside. Nothing's better than having a big old bowl of chili, a nice steaming hot cinnamon roll, and enjoying the venison that you just harvested. So we'll see you guys inside. The old go-to. I love these. Pre-sliced and die. Uh, whoever's in the back for just slap chopping these, we're keeping them in business. Think they buddy. have a whole employee that's just on slap chop, dude. Yeah, because they're like, dude, these guys, these kids keep coming in and keep buying these pre-chopped freaking veggies. Dude, it's so convenient. It's so convenient. I ain't trying to cry, all right, and chop this up. We need some kidney beans, some tomato paste, and tomato sauce. We have a bunch of seasonings already at the house. So we'll kind of go through those once we get there. This is gonna be simple. We don't want to do anything crazy. But then of course we got to add our cheese, add our crackers. Okay, tomato. all the good stuff. Here's tomato stuff. Yeah. That's what you want? I think so. Petite diced? Yeah, petite diced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you need? Yeah, yeah, petite diced. Yep, okay. Tomato paste, cento. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Tomato paste and then eight ounce can of tomato sauce. Is this eight ounces? That's like probably eight ounces. Oh, that is eight ounces. Wow. So we need one of these. Huh? Okay, done. Roma tomato that sauce. Seems like not a lot of liquid. Well, there's uh, beef broth. One and a half oh, cups of beef broth, right. yeah. which I already have at the house. Gotcha. Okay. And then red kidney beans, uh, drained bro, and bro. rinsed. Okay. And then our one pound of beef, which is venison. What do you got there? Chili. No chili beans. no beans. Yeah, isn't that a whole thing? Like, do beans belong in chili? I think they do. I, what's chili without beans? I think the only time you have chili without beans is if you're putting it on like a hot dog. And it's a chili dog, and I feel like it doesn't need beans, but this is different. This is like a hearty meal that we're going for. It, you need some beans. We need some kidney. Pinto, black, chili. Wait, chi you're telling me, you're telling me chili beans, beans don't go in chili? <laughs> hey, explain that to me. We need light red or dark red? I think it's a preference. I've seen people mix them before. I'm genuinely curious, is that really not... Chili beans. Oh, that's in chili sauce. I see. This makes sense. Maybe we should use that. Put that that'll there. work. Light, yes. light kidney beans. Okay. One can. Okay, so that's pretty much all we need for Mr. Chili. Oh, right here. Here we go. Chili Do topping top. guy. You like put oh, like yeah. cheese. Oh yeah, cheese. Yes. Like yeah. You got to get some cheese. But 
We also gotta get cinnamon rolls, because that's part of the Nebraska experience. Chili and cinnamon rolls. They've got Pillsbury back there. They've also got some great value. Air fryer ready. Should we try it in the air fryer? I've never made them bought once. I feel like that's gotta be good, right? In the air fryer? I good. think we should try it, yeah. All okay. Right. I'm about that, done. Okay, but yeah, toppings, you're right. Cheese is huge, okay. Yeah, I say you put some sour cream in it. I've done that before. And then crackers, like the little oyster crackers. Those, yep, those are, those are the other. All right, so cheese. Yeah, what kind, what kind would you put? I'm trying to figure cheddar. out. Thick cold, thick or triple cheddar. Triple, right, what's better than two, three? Yep, I, that's what I'm thinking. All right. Go find some oyster crackers. These. Yeah, well. Oh, which one on there? Are you this shape of guy or that shape of guy? Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. Yeah, These that's, are yes. the ones. Yeah. Yes. The little. Oh, how many? One, two, three, four, six. Hexagon? Hex. Pentagon's hmm. five. Yeah, I knew Pentagon. Hexagon is. Six. What's heptagon? Seven? Hep, seven, octagon, eight. So it's hexagon? I think so. Holy smokes, it's been a minute. <laughs> all, this is, when you're like, oh, teacher, I'm never going to use this. Yeah, you're, you will when you're trying to look at oyster crackers. You're, you'll use it. All right, I think that's it. Everything for chili and cinnamon rolls. Homemade venison chili. I am excited. See you guys at the house. Shoo! Look at that deer, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. We got the old round fired up. It's time to grind this sucker. So we got the grinder ready and hot. There it is. Throw some of that venison down the little pipe here. We might, we might need to cut it. <laughs> you tried to put that whole thing in there? Yeah, I just figured that the grinder could handle it. I was wrong. There it is. There it is. Yeah, yeah, go! Yeah. Oh, oh, hey, hey, great. hey, you settle down, buddy. So that's about a pound. So we took the round off of Big Boy. Figured that would give us one pound, which is what this recipe calls for. So we'll let that kind of do its thing. This is heating up. While it's heating up, we've got our avocado oil ready to go. Since deer is nice and lean, I always throw a little bit of that in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna brown the deer. After about a minute or two browning it, then we're gonna add our onions. We've got the, the diced yellow onions. Cook that up once everything's done, then we just have to season it. I mean, look at the, se we got salt, all meat, garlic powder, chili powder, cayenne pepper, ground cumin, whatever that is, and pepper, and sugar. I type simple chili recipe. This, yeah, is, what I, this is what I got. So, all right, now that you got it ground, bam. There's a nice hot skillet. So we'll cook this, it calls for about two minutes of, uh, of browning here, and then add your onions, and then add your seasoning. So, go and get this guy cooked up. And you guys stay tuned. Yeah, look at that. Okay, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. They called for an entire onion. And I put in about a quarter of an onion. And that looks like onion with a splash of ground venison. They wanted a lot of They wanted onion. a full onion in this. For one pound, you, one pound onion, one pound of meat. That doesn't... Yeah. So I just, I made my own judgment call. And that's what we ended up with. So we're going to go ahead and transfer it over to a pot. Now you could have done this whole thing in a pot. But I like browning my meat in a skillet. Just a little bit easier. D dirty more dishes, so if you're trying not to do that, you don't have to. You can make it, it can be one pot chili if you want. Throw that in there. While I was letting that brown, I went ahead and put all of the seasonings in this jar. So, in case you guys want to make this, okay, it's two and a half tablespoons of chili powder, two tablespoons of ground cumin, two tablespoons of granulated sugar, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoons of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. But that is what is going in there. That looks like well seasoned. <laughs> yeah. That also looks well seasoned. <laughs> A lot of onion and a lot of seasoning. Holy smokes. That's gonna be potent. You think these guys' ratio was right? That's- Are you sure this is for one pound of meat? Dude, it- One pound of 90% lean ground beef. Yeah. That's the most seasoned meat. I smell it. I mean, smell chili. I'm guessing all the, maybe once you Broth, do, do into a chili, it, it relaxes a little bit, but. I mean, that's like the most, but I mean like taco seasonings like that, which yeah. is like potent as hell. So I mean, yeah. listen, either they know something I don't or this gonna taste like ass. So I'm just following the instructions because I'm not a chili guy. I mean, I, li I love chili, but I, I just don't really make it. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna trust the process. And if it's ass, we'll come up with our own one for the cookbook, okay? So then you add all that, stir it to well combined. Then you add the broth, diced tomatoes with their juice, drained beans and tomato sauce and stir well. Whole can with the juice, they say. All right, tomato sauce, bam. Two tablespoons of the paste. So what is paste, just more concentrated? Yeah, I think it's just concentrated sauce. Gotcha. Done. For the broth, you've got 
One and a half cups. One and a half cups of broth. This is a freaking big pot of chili. It is. Honestly. Why don't all cans come with this now? I don't know. Why are you like, still required can opener? We don't live in the Great Depression anymore. Put put pop tabs <laughs> on this shit. <laughs> the Great Depression. I guarantee you they didn't have pop tabs back in the Great Depression. No, that's too expensive. Let's see? That's what I'm saying. We're not in those days anymore. Let's get it together, folks. All right, go ahead and wash off the beans, they say. Nobody likes a dirty bean. The beans have been washed. Into the pot. Go thy beans. Stand we added the broth, the diced tomatoes, the drained beans, and the tomato sauce, and stir well. Bring liquid to a low boil, then reduce the heat low to medium low. What is medium low? Halfway between low and medium. Feel like... 25%. Feel like we could just say medium, but that, okay, okay. And then to gently simmer the chili, uncover 25 minutes. So basically, we're going to simmer for 25 minutes. You guys stay tuned. Oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. It is cinnamon roll time. So we're going to try air frying. Now, the only downside that I've seen so far in the instructionos. What? No. Golly. The only downside I've seen so far is you have to flip these because it's in the air fryer, which I feel presents a rather challenging thing. But we're going to just, we're, we're going to commit. I said we we're going to do it, so we're going to do it. If it turns out like ass, then I blame the air fryer. Take these, throw them in there. Yeah, have you ever heard of, like, if you're doing like a casserole dish, you ever heard of pouring milk in there? Yeah, I saw some. I did it this morning. I had some roast for breakfast, yep. It, well, I didn't do it, Macy did it, but it was really like soft and so stuff. good. It's mm -hmm. definitely, the, definitely the deal. Look at that, baby. Perfect. Air fry, 390, what'd it say? 330. Whoa, slow and slow. Nine minutes, then turn them over. All right, well, this chili, look at it. It's, it's simmering now, boys. Woo! This is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Sheesh! You're telling me we gotta flip yeah. them? You're telling me we gotta flip them? Bottom, like raw? No. I think they're done. You think they're good the way they are? Oh yeah, they need a little they bit. Need a little oh yeah, they're right, okay, all right. Trust the little doughboy guy, he knows what he's talking about. All right, chili's looking good though, folks, I mean. Come on now. It's been simmering for about 20 minutes. I think we're gonna take it off the heat. Get the cinnamon rolls fired up. Gonna have ourselves a meal. Shoo! Look at them cinnamon rolls, folks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nice and gooey. So, we've got our cheese to throw in here. We didn't get any cream, but you can definitely add cream if that's what you want. Throw some cheese in there. Oh yeah. Everybody likes the cheese, and then Oyster crackers. This is an absolute stick. Good lord. Absolute staple, folks. Look how much this made, and then there's still a whole pot here for one pound. Yes. Yes. It made twice as much. We used that whole onion, too. Yeah, the onion took up most of the space. You have to comment down below how do you make chili? I feel like chili is a controversial topic for a lot of people. Beans, no beans. People get defensive about their chili. Yeah. Oh, we're back where I'm from. What you okay. I mean, that looks amazing. All right, here we go, boys. Mm. That's gas. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's chili. Cheesy. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a fan. That's good, good chili. Yeah, I, it seems like the right amount of spice. I mean, it's definitely spicy. Like the chili yeah. powder is there. That cayenne get you. Right there, you know? <clears throat> but you cool it off with this creamy little cinnamon roll action. I mean, oh, come on, Lord. buddy. Oh, it's hot. Mm. Mm hmm. Dude, that duo. Yeah, it's It good. seems odd. And it, you don't have to like dunk it, you know? It's just, it's a compliment. It's like burgers and fries, chili and cinnamon rolls. Mmm. That's a good cinnamon roll, too. Mm-hmm. Huh? <laughs> good stuff. Mm -hmm. Are you a big ad cream guy or no? Not really, no. Cheese and crackers. Cheese and crackers is, is I a think staple. Pretty, you pretty can solid. get a little creamy if you want, but Big Junior's probably a big cream guy. I can see Big Junior using heavy cream. A little hot or is it not too bad? A little steamy? You like that? Oh, God, yeah. Oh God, yeah. The old venison? Mm -hmm. That's another dish? Listen, folks. I totally if, forgot this was deer. Yeah, I was gonna say, if this you- This tastes like normal chili. 
if you've got people in your family that don't like wild game, just sneak a little bit in there. And we didn't even cut it with pork or nothing. That was straight off the ass yeah. of my buck into the grinder, into the chili, and there's zero taste that doesn't taste like beef. Mm. That's it. That's it. All right, she's well seasoned. She, she. I think the chili powder might have been a touch on the I heavy side. Slightly heavy on the chili powder. Everything else was like one teaspoon. Yeah, it was like three. Yeah. When I when I started mixing, I was like, yeah, chili powder. I mean, I know it's chili, but come on now. What, what about that? That cool. That cools you down pretty good. That's exactly what you need. Yeah, that's the old. That's the old one-two punch. All you guys out there think this is weird, just try it. I swear to God, this you just is gotta the best try. Thing. It. Everyone's gotta try it once. Well, venison chili, phenomenal. I think it's good, but I think with a little, little bit of thinking, okay, I think we could probably come up with a little better recipe. We are working on a cookbook, okay, I know we keep talking about it. I don't know how I'm gonna release it. I think if it's gonna be an actual book or if it's just gonna be like a PDF that I email to you or something. I haven't quite figured that part out, but I think we could probably tweak that recipe a little bit. I think we could probably make it a little bit better, but honestly, it's pretty solid. And I think the combo of cinnamon rolls and chili, it's a must. You guys gotta try if you have not already. But that's how you make venison chili. If you guys haven't had it before, I recommend it. That's just a recipe I found on Google. You can find some other ones or use your mamma's recipe or something like that. But skip the beef, throw in the venison, and you will not be disappointed, ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, remember, Bucks is having a massive sale right now. It ends very soon. It'll be linked down in the description down below through Cyber Monday. Go check it out, buckshunting.com and get yourself geared up for this deer season, maybe a gift for holiday, or even get geared up for next season because everything is extremely, extremely discounted. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Peace.